Hi, I'm Nevin with Diskit. Coming to you with Cooking Outdoors has never been better. What I wanted to do today was first talk to you about the cooking disc itself. Now the disc itself is a 1070 carbon steel product that's stamped. What we do at Diskit that's different is we'll actually sandblast the surface of the cooking disc itself. What that does, it removes any of the mill scale that's left onto the surface while the product is being manufactured. So we take this, the disc, we sandblast the unit, and prior to shipment, we actually coat it with a light coat of vegetable oil. What that does is it protects the cooking surface from flash rusting prior to your first seasoning it. Now, one thing that many people want to know right off the bat is how to season their disc. Well, there's many different ways, and you'll find at least three or four of those methods under our frequent asked questions section on our website. What I'd like to do is show you one of my preferred methods on seasoning the disc. Now, what I typically do is I'll start the burner. If you can see that flame there. I'll start heating up the disc slowly at first. And after about a 10 to 15 minute period, or over the course of that period, what I'll do is I'll actually increase the flame temperature on the burner. This allows the steel to get nice and hot. Now the disc itself is carbon steel, and it is very similar to your skin. Now steel and your skin has pores, so as you heat, it's going to open up those pores in the disc. So you're going to want to open up those pores, and that's going to allow all of the seasoning method of your choice to go ahead and fill those pores and it's also going to clean the initial surface of the disc. Now that the disc itself has been cooking or heating up for about five minutes or so, I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and some lard. Now what the salt is going to do is actually going to keep down some of the heat or some of the smoke when I'm actually burning my initial seasoning. <clears throat> what I'm using here is just a Morel snow cap lard. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons at a time. And the reason I'm only using a little bit is because I don't want a greasy mess. And once I get that in there, what I'm, tip what I'm doing now is I'm just taking some actual paper towels. You can use a dishcloth or a rag of some sort. And I'll go ahead and, using my spatula, I'm going to swirl that around in a small circle right in the center of the disc. Now if you can see, let me tilt this up here. Be careful not to get burned as that, that does get pretty warm. You see it's already starting to brown the center of that disc. There's many other methods of doing this. So you can use uh, vegetable oil and some onions, just sauteing the onions into it, which works very well. You can also take a couple packages of bacon and just slow cook the bacon onto the disc itself. Now the trick to it is when you when you're first seasoning your disc, if you're using the bacon or the onion method, you do, you do not want to uh, eat that food as you'll get a, a slight steel taste. As I'll keep adding a little bit at a time until I get about a six inch circle nice and seasoned in there. Once I get that center part nice and seasoned, I'll start working bigger and bigger circles into that. This method takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Once that's set up, you'll be ready for your initial use. Now this disc here belongs to a customer, his name is Danny Gutierrez. So we're actually seasoning his for him. So Danny, you're welcome. <laughs> so over the past 12 to 15 minutes, we've been adding a little bit of lard at a time, as you can see, about two to three tablespoons at a time. What I'm also doing is continuing to add a little bit of salt. I'm using sea salt here, and that salt's just gonna keep down some of the smoke as you're seasoning your disc initially. What I'm doing here as well, as you can see, because I've already got the center done very well, I can tip the disc off to the side so I can season more of the edge of it at a time. Again, this takes uh, about a good 15, maybe 20 minutes to go ahead and season. I'm using paper towels here, as I mentioned earlier. My preferred method is actually using a dishcloth of some sort, as the paper towels tend to break up. Um, a couple other people might mention that it does take three to four beers to season the disc. <laughs> Once your disc is uh, properly seasoned, the key trick in keeping it seasoned is every time you use it, when you get, get ready to go ahead and clean it, pull the food out, wipe it down with some salt and a little bit of veg, vegetable oil, preferably while it's still warm. Initially, you'll also want to wipe down the back bottom side of the disc with the light coat of vegetable oil as well. That's going to help cure the, keep the back bottom side of it seasoned as well. Once we get this set up, you're ready to cook. Cooking outdoors has never been better.